I have the winter blues. I was talking to my boyfriend the other day and I would not call it depression. Been there, done that, know what it feels like. But I do feel off and that's a little scary. And sometimes depression can start with feeling off. Do I think that's where it's headed? No, I just think that there's a few things that I could implement into my routine that maybe might help me. And I'm gonna give an honest review of whether or not the things that I do in this video actually help. I don't wanna say my mental well-being, but for lack of a better term, my mental well-being. Mental well-being is not bad right now. Something just feels off. And I think the, it's just the fact that it's January, it's winter, Besides today, it's normally dark and rainy and cold. For the first time in my life, I can actually say that I am confident that I am a healthy well-being all around. <laughs> I've never been able to say that I'm mentally, spiritually, and physically healthy all at once. Never, at least to this extent. When I was younger and I was on the swim team and I was doing two hour practices at least four days a week, physically and mentally, I was doing good. And as far as what I was consuming, I didn't care enough at the time that I just would eat whatever's in front of me, whether that's five Rice Krispie bars or I'd say broccoli, but I know that I wouldn't eat broccoli at that age. You get what I'm saying. I'm actually confident in saying that I'm healthy now, which is very new, but also is a little confusing going forward because it's like, what do I, what do I change to make this off feeling go away? I wish I had a word. I wish I could put my finger on it. What, what is this feeling? I want to try, I want to try some new things. I'm very into health and wellness. Health and wellness is kind of a hobby for me. And it's kind of weird to say that something abstract is a hobby for you, but it definitely is for me. My routine in the mornings, the last couple months at the very least, has looked like get up i work a remote job so immediately i would get on my laptop and start working i get off um, go to the gym it takes anywhere from like an hour hour and a half to work out and by the time that i got home i had no part of my day left and i didn't have time i didn't have the energy to hang out with anybody else i had to be early uh, up early the next morning as weird as this sounds though I loved my routine, or I guess I sh should say, I love my routine, because up until a couple days ago, that was my routine. I loved that routine. The only thing was, I felt off. So, this is, this is essentially what the whole video is about, is me trying to get out of that off feeling, changing up some of my routine, while still ensuring that I, I live a healthy lifestyle, you know? If there's one thing that I've learned, it's that routine and health go together. Once something is thrown off for me, typically the other gets thrown off. You know when you're traveling and you just want to eat fast food, and then suddenly the food engineers have engineered the food to taste a way that your brain craves it again for the next week. And then you just want McDonald's for it. And it's hard to get back to eating healthy whole foods. What kind of tangent did I just go on? I'm actually going to sit down right now while I'm on my break from work and just journal a few ideas of what I think might could help this all feeling. Because I do have a few ideas. Thing that I know that I need that I'm not gonna lie to you I actually journaled before I even started filming the video that way I did not forget I need more sunlight and you would think with a remote job that I would go out at least once a day I am ashamed to say no I have not been doing that since it got cold I'm such a cold freak I hate being cold I'm cold natured as somebody who is very into health and wellness, this is... You would think that I would get enough sunlight. You know what I'm saying? Number one, get sunlight. Number two, I want to start getting up before work and going to the gym. I've done that for the last two days and I've loved it. I'm such a morning person. I cannot emphasize that enough. 
I used to be the opposite. I used to be a night owl. It's hard for me to believe that I was a night owl before because once you become a morning person, it, it's like a cult. It, it's I love mornings, the birds chirping. I am gonna become a grandma bird watcher. I already know it, I feel it in my veins. So number two, I'm gonna get up early before work. And work out. As far as the weekdays go, it'll give me time after work. Number one, I love mornings. Two, it'll give me time after work to just have some me time. I don't immediately have to shower and go to bed. Three. Hmm. Why is this harder than I expected it to be? This is harder than I thought it was gonna be. I actually have come up with another one and it is continue to drink more water. Cause like I said, I kind of started doing this routine two days ago and I'm just now to the point where I want to make a video about it. I considered making a video about it, but at the time I didn't want to. Now I do. So I, I genuinely, that is one thing, drink more water. These are so simple. Do you think drinking more water is gonna get, off, get rid of that off feeling? Do you think I'm dehydrated that bad? I wouldn't put it past me. Drink more water. I've been drinking two of like the Stanley cups. Can you see me? Can't see it. Two of these a day. And honestly, I'm ashamed to say that's actually really good for me. I know people that are drinking like four, five, six of these a day. Anyway, start small. Start small. Oh, here's another one. Stretching. I want to do more dynamic stretches before my workouts and just stretch at some point in the day after my workout, um, static stretching. Dynamic stretching is preparing your body for movement. If you don't know what that is, static stretching is, I don't want to say traditional stretching, but it's where you just hold that stretch for 30 seconds or so. Dynamic stretch and static stretch. I also saw something last night. I Yes, I am the person who winds down at night by watching health and wellness YouTube videos. I'm telling you, I eat this stuff up. She was talking about how she's lived in Canada and she's lived in Sweden. I'll link the video below. She explains it much better than I can and much more in depth than I'm going to explain. But apparently Swedish people are known for being very healthy, very lean people. And she was explaining the differences that she's found, the many differences that she's found living in Canada and living in Sweden. Because Canada, from what she was explaining, sounds a lot like the US. In a portion of the video, she was explaining that Swedish kids and Swedish adults just stay in sports for their entire life. And I'm ashamed to say that I never thought about the fact that, as she put it, in America and apparently in Canada, can vouch for Canada, you start a sport fifth or sixth grade. If you continue that on, hey, great. Um, into, let's see, junior high, seventh, eighth grade. Hey, that's amazing. You continue it on to high school. Okay, you're a, you're a for real athlete. You're committed to this. You go on to college, oh, amazing. And then after college, you just get a gym membership. And I just did not realize that's not how, all, how it always goes. All of that being said, I just want to go out and the way that I want to socialize is to be through physical activity. I won't lie to you, I've had trouble making friends in Nashville, but honestly, I haven't really put myself out there. I got so stuck in this routine that I loved that once I had my set friends, I did not expand anymore. I didn't reach out to anybody. I did not... So anyway, I, I want to socialize through physical activity. I want to meet more people that are genuinely interested in health and wellness. I want to spend more time doing physical activity and liking it more. In the video that I referenced, she also said, what's more fun, a soccer game or a three by 10 bicep curl? And hear me out, I love exercising. I love the gym. It is my second home. 
but I would much rather be playing a soccer game, you know? And I'm not gonna say I'm gonna get rid of weights. I know resistance training is great. I'm gonna continue to do that, but maybe shorten those workouts so they're not so long. Have just like a 45 minute workout there. And then maybe during some point in my day, I just get outside and play tennis or something. I know yesterday, me and my roommate went for a walk around uh, a park. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. I don't trust it. And the walk was, it, it didn't feel like physical activity, but I was getting outside. I was socializing, something I also need to do more of. Number five, socialize. more. I just, I want to try new things and not be afraid to be embarrassed at them. I know one time I went out with a friend not too long ago. He actually, oh, it was a year ago. It was a long time ago. He visited me in Nashville. We went to go play tennis and I, oh, this is, oh, this is cringe. I, I kind of acted like I wasn't interested in playing tennis because the two other people that I was with, uh, the guy that visited me and my roommate knew how to play tennis. I do not. I am somebody who is going to look very coordinated. I am somebody who has not had any tennis experience. Rather than putting myself out there and being confident enough in myself to be embarrassed and learn new things, I sat on the bench the entire time. I think I got up maybe once or twice to like chase a ball. But that has kind of stuck with me because that's not my personality to not get involved with things. And I don't want that to become my personality to not get involved in things. That was a long tangent and I don't kind of, I don't really know what to write down for, for that tangent. Number six. Don't be afraid to be a goober fair enough but as of right now we've got get sunlight get up and work out before work drink more water dynamic stretch and static stretch socialize more and six don't be afraid to be a goober aka try new physical activities even if you don't necessarily I don't want to embarrass myself in front of people, especially when it comes to sports. We're going to try these things. Yeah. Oh, no. Check courtesy of Jeff Bezos.